What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Today we're looking at the top 5 kids who freaked out in stores. Now it's a common fact that people love free money, so if you're one of those people, make sure you enter my free Amazon gift card giveaway by clicking the top link in the description. It takes less than 5 seconds to follow all the steps and you literally get entered to win free money, so why not do it real quick? Also, let's see if we can smash 5,000 likes on this video, but with that said, let's get right into it. Number 5. Okay, now I've got to give major props to this woman because she straight up says way more calm than I ever could, especially when you look at how completely crazy the kid is acting. I mean, he seems more upset and stressed out than like genuinely angry, but that doesn't mean it's not hard to believe the stuff that's coming out of his mouth. Seriously, whenever he's not whining or crying about his mom hugging him too tightly, he's screaming that he's literally gonna kill her and the language he's using isn't exactly kid friendly. I mean, looking at him hitting and kicking and pinching like that, you're probably trying to figure out what the mom did and I think that might be the best part. Basically, this whole thing kicked off because the kid wanted to bring a soccer ball into the store, and the mom obviously said it wasn't allowed. Like, uh, it seems a pretty stupid thing to get mad at, especially since he probably knew he was going to get wrestled to the ground, so to be honest, at that point, he's just trying to cause trouble for his mom. Don't! Goddamn pig! <laughs> Jaden, stop! Stop hitting me! Jaden, stop! Here, stop. Take this. Stop now. Yes. You're sitting on the couch. Yes, we are. Stop hitting and kicking. All right, right here. Fine. <laughs> I'm not doing this all day, buddy. Stop! Then stop hitting me. Number four. Okay, when it comes to bratty kids freaking out just because they don't know any better, there really is no better place than Super Nanny, and this might be one of the most extreme families on the show. I mean, things seem pretty simple at first, like the mom just has to take her kids to the supermarket. Easy, right? Well, wrong. Pretty much everything that could go wrong for this poor woman does go wrong, and it's enough to make anyone think twice about going to the store if they see any kids around. Like things are bad before they even get out of the car. First they got one of the kids crying and screaming her head off all because of a Care Bear book, and the other two are just sitting there looking super stressed out. It gets even worse though because as soon as they walk in there's an argument about who's going to sit in the car, and then when all three of them do, all hell breaks loose. I mean kids are throwing stuff and strangling each other as well as just straight up running away, and I gotta say it's pretty hard to watch. With that said, if you were the super nanny in this situation, would you let the kids get away with this or how would you punish them? Let me know in the comments below. Barbara, you're off to the supermarket now. Yes, we're gonna go to the supermarket. It's hard to take them to the store by myself because I can't control them. When we arrived at the supermarket, all three girls were arguing who was going to sit in the cart and it was real troublesome. We're gonna see if all three of you will fit. Let's see if Leah can squeeze in next to you. This is every mother's nightmare. Children playing up in the supermarket where everyone else can watch you. Don't, oh. Jesse. Mommy, we need new paintbrushes. Hey, Jesse, what are you doing, honey? Jesse, Jesse. <laughs> it was real troublesome for Barbara. And then Andrew was all over the place, running down all the aisles. Hey, Andrew. Number three. So it's normally up to a kid's parent to make them understand the difference between right and wrong, not to mention stop them if they try and do something too crazy, but what happens when the parents are literally nowhere to be found? Like seriously, I have no idea where this kid's family was when all this went down, but I'm pretty sure they'd be really shocked if they saw the way their kid was acting. I mean, the first thing we see is cereal boxes and cookies all over the floor, and it's not hard to figure out who's doing it because they start throwing food at the dude filming pretty much straight away. I mean, they all seem crazy angry as they're just walking around and wrecking whatever they feel like, but the weirdest thing is that nobody else seems to care. Like, sure, people are staring, but nobody's actually trying to stop this kid while they go around destroying the entire store. Now, by the time the kid gets dragged out of the shop by his t-shirt, he's already managed to ruin every display and even sneak into the back room, so I don't think there was even much damage left to do. Boy, we got a JIT going ham in Dollar Store. I'm talking about a JIT is going ham in Dollar Store. Believe that. I'm talking about... <laughs> Jit is mad. Jit don't got no family. Jit say fuck this shit. <laughs> Definitely. Cereal everywhere. Jit is crazy. We don't know who Jit this is, bro. Jit is just going hell, you feel me? I ain't caught nothing like this in a while. 
Hey, I'm talking about, bro, like, jit. <laughs> Number two. Now I know a lot of people who are pretty proud of their Pokemon card collection, but I've gotta admit, I've never seen anyone get as intense about them as this next kid. Like these two guys are having a hilariously geeky conversation about their own cards while this goes down, but you really wanna be watching the kid in the background because what they end up watching is pretty extreme. Like it's pretty obvious what's happening. The mom tells him to put his stuff back so they could leave and uh, how do I put this? He isn't really happy about it. I'm not even joking, he starts screaming and crying and at one point it looks like he's gonna throw the cards he's holding at his mom and his baby sister, but thankfully he just decides to keep throwing a tantrum instead. Now he does leave with his mom eventually, but not without making such a huge scene that makes his little sister cry too. 100% though, the best part is the guy's reaction because they're trying so hard to pretend like they're not filming, which is literally exactly what I would do if I was in their shoes. Alright, stand in the way at least. Like pretend. <laughs> Spy, you're such a silly man. Number one. Now I don't know what's wrong with this kid. Like maybe he's had too much sugar or maybe he's just too excited to be at Chuck E. Cheese, but somehow he got away from his parents and managed to ruin literally everybody's day. Like seriously, the amount of chaos this kid manages to cause is pretty hilarious when you realize just how small he is. But I still feel bad for the random group of strangers that end up having to try and take care of him. I mean, he literally starts off by spitting at people and then he starts climbing on the machines and trying to reach inside them and all the people chasing him don't seem to bother him at all. I mean, at one point, he's literally sat inside the basketball machine just happily dunking baskets, and as weird as he's being, I've gotta admit, it's pretty iconic. Anyway, so many people try to carry this little dude out a bunch of times, but considering nobody knows where his parents are, he can pretty much do whatever he wants. It's a pretty ridiculous, but uh, I guess unfortunate situation, so let me know in the comments how you would handle it, because I know for a fact that if it was me, I'd probably get arrested for chucking a little kid right out the window. And there's our video on the top 5 kids who freaked out in stores. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe so you see whenever we upload a video. Also, if you're ever on top 5 or top 10 ideal, feel free to search me a handy form in the description to submit it. With that said, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.